Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Slothcakes and welcome back to some more Gundam Battle Operation 2. Today we're going to be deploying in the level 1, 400 cost, RX-78-2 Gundam. Now this is a really nice suit, I don't really need to explain this guy, this is the most basic of basic suits. However, there is something special about this guy and you can tell it from the title. But first let me show you guys my build right here. I'm really trying to get the build like right, I really don't know what to build when I'm using this setup. But I'm using the beam rifle with the super napalm launcher, but I'm also using the Gundam hammer. And to quickly go into it, the Gundam hammer and the Gundam is one of the few suits that can replace its uh, melee weapon with something else. You know, like the Freet Knot can use a katana or two katanas, the Hyzak can use a beam saber or like this giant machete. But what is the Gundam hammer? Just to go over it real quickly, the Gundam hammer is nothing like the beam saber just to go off the beam saber can swing twice but when you have the gundam hammer it can only swing once now the gundam hammer has three swings like any other melee weapon the forward swing is just this push forward it launches forward its side swing is it hucks it sideways and it has this nice angle to it when you're side swinging the ball is the only hitbox so if you go up to someone real closely, you're not going to hit them. In its backswing, you just saw, is this, like, you spin it above your head, then you throw it, slam down, and drag it back. Now, every part of that has an active hitbox. When you're spinning it above someone, if you go near someone, you'll knock them down. When you slam down and you hit someone, you'll knock them down. And when it's dragging back and you hit someone, uh, you'll knock him down and that's with all of his swings throughout the entirety of it even the lag animation of it coming back it has an active hitbox now it can't hit people multiple times but it doesn't lose damage and it does a lot of damage but no i just i like this weapon it's really cool that's its side swing it looks cool it's very laggy but if you space it right you're gonna get some really nice results Another thing I noticed, and maybe I'm too slow, you can't get any swing off a counter. I found out, and I've been like, I I didn't really test it, I've just been doing it in matches. You can't even get like a regular forward swing, which is your fastest. So it doesn't look like, like, defaultly switching into your melee when you get a counter is the best with this. You'll probably just get like a beam shot off. But I'm done this just because I and that's its backswing just as you see everything about it is active but like I was saying I just wanted to play this uh, weapon I'm gonna probably upload another one sometime soon just because I really want to learn how to use this weapon properly I have no idea what to build like should I go for more damage should I health it up there's a lot of things just because when this weapon like goes off it's very goofy and very fun so I'm just gonna have a ball using it I do think I need to combo more into it the thing is uh, if you get a stun off and you backswing it's not really guaranteed but you saw the forward swing right there on its way back it hit that suit Ooh, and I just got picked off by that uh, what was this support type Weapons back, okay. You know, I think maybe this isn't the best map to use the Hyper Hammer. Because you're going to see a few times and it already happened. My elevation was off. The When you swing downwards, it doesn't go down. It goes on this like invisible axis. That even if there isn't like any ground, it will still do like the ground hit animation. But no, you saw that side swing. That guy gets stunned for a very long time. And got him with that. Can I get him with the hammer? Ew. Funk. There we go. And yeah, that range, like I said, the chain does not have a hitbox. But its forward and side swing causes heavy stagger. Like, they're, they're stunned for a very long time. Can I get him with the side swing? Funk. There we go. And there goes that guy. Forward. Back. Gonna get the downswing. Look at that damage. 
I should have went a little farther back so I could hit him with the initial downward swing. But you know, oh well. And bonk, and bonk. Oh, I love this thing. I don't know why, I just... I know they won't do it, but I want like another Gundam hammer. Like another suit that can use like something this stupid. I just really like the dumb weapons in this game. It's very reminiscent to the Gasha, which also has like a ball, spike ball. And I really like the Gasha just because landing that spike ball makes it all worthwhile. But no, this is an ace match, I have not mentioned that. And I got selected the ace. And I don't really know how good the Gundam Hammer is when you're the ace. But right now we're both, my, me and this Hyzok are really packed up right here. I'm trying to get that guy with low health. The thing is, the beam rifle doesn't do great damage. It's solely for the stun. It's good as like a poke. But you're not going to be really killing off people with this thing. And there's that sniper I've been trying to hit. Did I get any of my shots? Nope. I think I forget I'm using the super napalm at times. And can I get this guy? Nope. Oh my god. How did I not get that guy? Okay, I'm going to finish him off with Vulcans. I think switching to the beam rifle would have been a lot better. And no, he got me with that, and there we go. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Again, I felt like if I just switched to my beam rifle, that would have been a lot more successful. And we just got him with that. Did I get him? Nope. I don't know why I went after the ace. I should have, yeah, I should just go back to hitting these guys. And there we go. Bonk. I love this hammer so much. But no, so far so good. The ace is easily gone. I hit everyone with that. That's my bad. Sorry about that, my dude. I th yeah, I hit two of my teammates. Not my, not the best choice I've made. But let's see if I can get at least one more kill with this. And... There we go. Oh, that was a beautiful swing. Also, but just because of latency, you get that little thunk that happens where you hit them. But you can see it for a few frames that don't die, but then they just explode. And yeah, I'm pretty much dead right here. This was a very bad mistake. I have 8 health, but there wasn't anything I could do. My legs are broken, and I got shot. Yeah, I really couldn't think of, like, anything I could have done. Because I was right at the spawn point. I was good as dead. But no, we have a minute left. We are losing by just a little bit, but at this, I don't think we can get another kill. If I got another kill, will we catch up? But 400,000... Oh no, they just scored another one. Yeah, we have less than 10 seconds left. I'm going to try to pick this guy off. And nope. And even if I got that guy, I don't think we would have won. But no, yeah, we lost this one. However, this match was more about like the goofiness of the Gundam Hammer and how it is in practice. So, you know, stay tuned for more Gundam Hammer gameplay. But with that being said, my name is Slothcakes and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy you guys' day and have a good one.